So, what do you all think of our new ship, huh? How's she holding up? All systems check. Everything's perfect. Looks like you did another excellent job. Thanks, Tron. I'm always impressed at how you're able to build such <laughs> neat toys. It's not that big of a deal, Teasel. I mean, you were able to get us the best kind of equipment, which let us finish the job a lot faster than it would have taken. I know we spent a lot of money on this ship, which means we're going to have to work hard to get it back. That's why I've got something really big planned for us this time. We're going to take the legendary treasure of the Nakai Desert, Diana's Tear! What? But that's supposed to be one of the biggest refractors in the world! How did you find it? It wasn't easy. I had to spend a lot to get that information. That old junk. Dealer drove a hard bargain. Anyway, all right, people, you know the plan. I'm going to take shift B in. Man your stations, everyone. We're rolling out. Roger. Huh? Shift B? What about me, Diesel? Tron, you stay here with the guest chef. Enough work already. Can't have you take care of everything, you know. But, but Diesel. Don't you worry about a thing. We'll be back before you know it. You just sit back and relax, okay? All right, boys. Ready? <laughs> Let's go get that treasure. Aloha, everybody. It is I, the Great Clement, and now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be tackling this spin-off to the Mega Man Legend series. This is The Misadventures of Tron Bon. This game came out in 2000, uh, the same year that Mega Man Legends 2 did, actually. Uh, in fact, when you buy Tron Bon, you actually get a demo disc for Legends 2 as well, so that's pretty swell. Uh, but this is a spin-off, everybody, and it's focusing on the girl member of the Bond family, Tron Bon, as well as her loyal servbot minions, who we're going to be seeing quite a bit of. Uh, this is actually a prequel to the events of Mega Man Legends. That's why we're going to be seeing stuff like the Gessel Shaft, because a certain blue boy hasn't destroyed all that stuff yet. This is a mixture of, like, action stages, puzzles, and all kinds of gameplay types, and, uh... If I'm going to be quite honest, this is actually my favorite game in the series. Even though I admit Legends 1 is a lot more accessible and playable for newbies and stuff, I love this game to death. It's so charming, it's so fun, and I can't wait to get into it. So, uh, let's play this thing. supposed to be a legendary treasure. It's not going to be found that easily. I'll get that junk store owner if it's the last thing I ever do. Where the heck are those ruins anyway? I've been looking for hours. <clears throat> this is the Gustav Bonbon. Can you hear me? Over. But Sam, have you found anything? Over. Ba -boo! Ba -boo, ba -boo! What? 
A giant doorway? That's it! That has to be the entrance we're looking for! I knew you could do it, Bon Bon! Now we're in business! What's your heading? North? All right. Stand by, I'm on my way! All right, boys! Let's go! Okay, so right off the bat, we're not actually playing as Tron, we're actually playing as her brother, Teaselbon. And uh, a lot of tutorials in this level. Hmm. Which way is it? Let's see. Tron said to use the directional button to look around. And that's something I actually set up uh, right as the game was beginning. You can have it where L1, R1 is moving around, and the control pad is strafing, but I hate that. Whoa! It's a reaver bot. One of the robots that guard the old ruins. Looks like we'll have to fight our way through. That means using the square button to fight. If I press the L2 button, the Gustav's weapons will auto-lock onto the target. When the game boots up, get... Uh, manual aiming. Do not get auto-aiming because that will really screw you up in the later parts of the game when you're shooting at things you don't want to be shooting at. So get manual aim when you start the game. Hmm. There's a little hole there. I bet the serve bots could fit inside. Hey, Tron. You said you made a command system for the serve bots. How do I use it? Press the R2 button, Teasel. If you hold the R2 button down, you'll see a target appear. Use the directional button to move the target to where you want the third bot to go. And press the fire button. That will launch a beacon bomb, which will tell them where to go. Got it. All right. Let's give it a try. So yeah. We are controlling this Gustav machine, which acts sort of like Mega Man does. It shoots, it strafes, it jumps, it's just a lot slower and bulkier. But the big gimmick about Misadventures of Tron Bon is that, well, we have a whole bunch of minions! We can shoot the serve bots in so many different directions, and depending on what they interact with, they can go in caves to look for f refractors to get Zenny and stuff, they can hold down enemies to beat them up, uh, they can even investigate things that you wouldn't expect to be like, uh, investigative, but uh, the serve bots can do a whole bunch of stuff, so always hold the R2 button and launch the serve bots at different things, because uh, you never know what they might do with it. The Gustav is pretty good, though. Um, it's a lot slower and bulkier than, say, Mega Man, but it can survive quicksand, it can pick up things with the triangle button. It doesn't matter if it's a car, a tree, a street light, you can pick up things with the triangle button and it is so freaking powerful it can destroy walls like this cracked one over here. Booyah! So when I pause the game I have 800 zenny and you can see Teasel in the driver's seat, well sorta. The serve bot is actually controlling the machine that we're driving around in, the Gustav as it's called. Um, but uh, we are in the, the machine itself, we are with Teasel, you know. So we had 800 zenny from the one reaver bot we killed and the one cave we investigated. Look at all those red refractors. Red refractors are the best refractors in this game, and they got me a whopping 30,000 zenny. You do not want to miss out on that cave. That is a good, good cash flow very early in the game. So yeah, now the game's going to tell us that we can pick up things, even though I just did it. <laughs> hmm? There's rocks blocking the road. What was it Tron said? Ah, that's right. Use the triangle button to pick things up. Now when the Gustav is carrying things, it can't shoot its buster shots, it can't use its weapons, but it can still use beacon bombs, which is always swell. So even when you're holding a giant boulder over your head, you can still get the serve bots to hold down enemies and stuff uh, in case you need like a really easy shot, you know? Throwing things is a pretty damn good weapon. I mean, I can't recommend it enough. That's, that Reaverbot died in one hit because I threw a boulder at it. 
Whereas if I was using my machine gun and shooting pellet shots at it, it'd take a little bit longer. Um, as you go through the game, you will get uh, better weaponry, and your serve bots will get more skilled at using those weaponry uh, that the Gustav will be a force to be reckoned with. But early in the game, if you have to take out big, big Reaver bots like this guy over here, chuck something at it, and you're dead. <laughs> Oh boy, this machine, I like it. I like it a lot. Anywho, there's the Nakai Ruins. Be it! Ahem. This is the Gusta. Come in, Gesselchap. Gesselchap here! Go ahead! <laughs> I'm in front of the sub gate. I'm going to go in. Tell Tron not to worry. Over. Diesel, is everything okay? How's the Gusta holding up? That you, Tron? <laughs> Everything's fine. The Gustav's doing great. How could it not, after all? You made it. Don't worry about a thing. We'll be home with the treasure before you... Huh? What's that? God, Bon Bon, Jesus! Huh? You? What? What's going on, Tizo? Tizo! You're a hard man to find, Tizo Bon. Don't you recognize me? I'm hurt. It's me, Glide. I work for Mr. Lowe, remember? I'm sure you know why I've come all this way to find you, don't you, dear? Wait! I can get the money I borrowed from Lo back real soon! Once this job's over, I'll have your money, honest! I'm afraid it's too late. The deadline is long past. Give it back. All of it. Now. Time to pay the piper! Listen, if you just wait a few more. Silence. Don't you understand? Your time is up. You leave me no choice but to exercise our option. That big body of yours is mine now. Come along. What's going on, Tito? What's happening? <clears throat> I've run into a little trouble. Don't worry, though. I'll be back soon. You're not exactly my type, but if you want to play around with it, I'm game. Take your best shot. Okay, so we got ourselves an intro boss, and Glide is nothing but talk. All he really does is he shoots electricity, but he's so freaking slow that you can easily get right behind him and just keep shooting him from behind. Uh, the surf bots can't do anything to this boss, so all you have to do is strafe and shoot, and uh... Wow, that was sad, Glide. <laughs> not bad. I'd expect no less from the leader of the Bond family, but not quite good enough. Ultimate Glide Laser! Ah! 
Miss Tron, we've lost contact with the Gustav. I wonder if Teasel's all right. He said he'd run into some trouble. It's no use standing around here worrying. I'm going to go to their last known position and make sure everything's okay. Block D, can you hear me? We're heading out in a truck to look for the Gustav. The rest of you, wait at your normal stations, okay? Roger! Yes, ma'am! Yay! We're going on a mission. So I'm definitely excited to be playing through this game, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty rare and a little bit expensive to find nowadays. And uh, come back for part two, because we haven't even scratched the surface of this game yet. Till then.